Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This, in fact, is The Ramble, and I'm Alex Bennett, and we'll be here until midnight tonight from the East Coast of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Larry Bubbles Brown. Take it, Larry. <laughs> How are you? Good, good. Yeah, as good as we, as good as we can be at this infirmed age. At this infirmed age, what's infirmed <laughs> about you? I, see, here's the thing. I want to let people know that when you talk with people who are older, you're you're much younger than I am, actually. Well, barely. But when you're okay. older, well, you're what, sixty-seven? Yeah. Okay. Uh, when you're older. The first topic of conversation when you're having dinner or anything else is, so what's happening with your health? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what's uh, happening with your health, Larry? Or it's either about your health or guess who, guess who died. <laughs> <laughs> guess who died. Yeah, yeah. Guess who died. Uh, so uh, guess who died. No, um, well, you know, we lost the oldest guy in AFTRA. You know that in SAG after rather. Oh, he died finally. Okay, he did, well, he's 107, right? Yeah, 100. And, I think it was 107. Yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's his name? Uh, God, my mind's a blank now. You told me he was in a Hitchcock movie. Yeah, he was the guy that fell off the uh, Statue of Liberty. Uh, Norman Lloyd. Was well, on. many people in show business do hit triple figures. I, uh, George yeah. Burns. Yes. Uh, who was a, there was a famous producer from Paramount that lived to be 103, I forget his name. Well, you had, uh, you had Kirk Douglas, you know, made it to 103. Yeah, he made 101 or two, I think. And, no, 103, and his wife just recently died at 102. Jesus. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it just, uh, it keeps going and going and going. Uh, but, you know, I'll tell you who else uh, uh, has a problem that way uh, is, uh, um, uh, oh, comedians. They either die old or really young. Or really young. <laughs> and I never could figure that one out, you know. I mean, we have people like Bill Hicks. What, he died at 32? Yeah. Uh, Sam Kennison. I don't know how old Sam was. Uh, he Sam di- was, uh, let's see, Sam was not, he was born in 54, and he was not 40. Yeah, the, we, knew he, we knew that Sam uh, would die of drugs, but we didn't realize they'd be in somebody else's body. <laughs> he gets hit by a drunken driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you go to George Burns, you know, you go to, uh, who else do we have, you know? The, Bob Hope was close to 100. Bob Hope was 100. I think he, he made ju- hundred. He just made it over the line to a hundred, yeah, and then he died. Well, he, he said that uh, he would three in the morning. He would go for an hour walk in any city where he was in, no matter if it was a bad neighborhood or what. And he always ate. Uh, he always ate uh, salad. <laughs> so he always ate salad. He always ate salad on the road, and he always went for an hour walk in the what, middle. What of the was night. the reason for that? I guess he just thought it was healthy, and apparently it worked. Yeah, yeah. You want to hear Bob Hope, by the way? Listen to this. I I think you'll be able to hear it okay. Listen to this. He wants you to do a station promo. What is it? This is Bob Modern Rock Hope. Thank you. You're listening to Alex Bennett. This is Bob Modern Rock Hope, and you're listening to... Alex Bennett on Live Alex Bennett? On live 105. 105. Modern Rock Hope. You're listening to Alex Bennett, live 105. Alex Bennett. Alex Bennett. You're listening to Alex Bennett on live 105. Did you hear that? 
I didn't hear it, no. Oh, you didn't hear it? Oh, I guess it, uh, it didn't uh, play for you. Well, it was a, a promo that uh, Bob Hope, they had Bob Hope do for me at an airport. And it was, just, he just, he was so out of it. He couldn't remember my name. He couldn't remember what he was, I think he didn't even remember he was supposed to say, I'm Bob Hope. You know. <laughs> That's how far gone he was at that point. You know? And um, I always, um, um, who was it was saying that he was very depressed? I think it was Woody Allen who said that he always wanted to meet Groucho Marx. And by the time he met Groucho, Groucho had had his third stroke. Right? And he said the guy was just completely out of it. And he said, I suddenly realized that no matter how funny you are, no matter how great you are at your abilities and your talents, it comes to that. You know, yeah. you just one day you just lose it all, no matter what. Talent has nothing to do with it. So, you know, that was kind of... Well, Woody Allen had, uh, didn't he uh, kind of have a hero worship of Bob Hope, which seems like an odd... Pairing. Well, his timing, if you watch Bob Hope in those road movies or whatever, and then you watch Woody Allen and his timing, exactly the same. He stole the timing from Hope. And really? he admits it. He admits it. You know. Uh, that whole thing about being like, you know, oh, I don't, you know, the kind of hesitancy that he happens, you know, and he uh -huh. would, Hope would do that too, you know. Uh, <laughs> It was a, a, a go back, folks, and watch old Hope movies, and then watch Woody Allen, and you'll see the similarity. Yeah. So I mean, it was it was inter it, At one point, it was it SCTV did a thing called uh, it played again Woody. Yeah, it was uh, Rick Moranis and. Uh, 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 yeah, and it was the two of them, Woody Allen and and Bob Hope. It was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> And and uh, that's where they got the whole idea from was the fact that Woody said that that was his that was his hero when he was growing up. You know, I loved uh, I loved Hope in the movies. His radio and TV shows weren't as good. As a kid, I watched his old movies and I thought they were hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but um, what was it? Shecky and I were driving out uh, from California when I came out to New York again. And we were listening to tapes that Shecky had brought along, one of which was an old Bob Hope radio show. And we were amazed at how bad the jokes were. Just mm -hmm. how badly written they were. Uh, and uh, But we agreed that he was great in movies, but radio was not the best place for him, or television for that matter. You know, the only thing Hope had going for him, and you know what I'm talking about when I say authority, is he had authority when he stood on stage. He kind of looked at you and said, this is funny, you're going to laugh. Yeah, that uh, shows you what you can get with confidence. Yeah. Well, it isn't even confidence. It's it's an authority he had where he planted his feet on the stage and he said, "Okay, I'm in charge here." Uh, and he was very good at that. That was one of his uh, his big uh, big pluses, you know. Um, he was uh, he was he was really good. Uh, he was a, he was good at a st as a stand up. He was great in movies, you know, but. Um, I don't know. He, he, there was something about him I didn't like, and I can't put my finger on it. I guess it's because as years went on, his his whole act and his movies and so on dipped into mediocrity. And the fact that he would settle for that, you know. You know what I was watching the other day, speaking of comics? I go to, I like YouTube. I've told you this. I love YouTube. Because anything you ever wanted to see or whatever is on YouTube somewhere now, right? So I somehow I got into a loop of Jerry Lewis telethons, <laughs> and they had all the all the tote boards, you know, when they would go for the total, right? So I went through the whole thing, and I got to that point where all of a sudden he bloated up like a stuck pig. You remember that? 
Yeah, I think he's on steroids. He was on steroids for something or another, and he turned into this, literally, this balloon. And then I watched a few more episodes a few years later, and he got thinner and thinner and thinner. He, he went off the steroids. And yeah. so, so I enjoyed watching that. <laughs> the, <laughs> the telephones were hilarious. He'd be up for 24 hours, and then he... He'd always do that song at the end and break down. Very dramatic. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, he sang that song one year for me. Did I ever tell you oh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I told you that story. Yeah, yeah. Where he, uh, where, where the radio station, I had said something about him. This was when I was at WMCA, and I had said something about him uh, in regards to, well, you know, uh, I don't really think he's much of a comedian. I never thought much of his comedy, but I got to admit he does a good job for MD, you know, for Muscular Dystrophy. And they had been sued once before because they had not let somebody know that something bad was said about them on one of their shows. So they sent him a note saying, Alex Bennett said you were not up to the task or something like that, whatever. <laughs> Didn't mention that I said that he was great at MD, you know. And he got up and he started to do it. And he said, and this year I'm dedicating this to that disc jockey who doesn't think I'm that good. Wow. Or something to that effect. And I knew exactly who he was talking about. And I'm going, as he starts singing, I'm going, Jerry dedicated this to me. Oh, wow. You know. So that was my, that was my big, uh. My yeah, big. and uh, supposedly I loved him as a kid, but supposedly not the nicest person in show business. No, no, not a nice person at all. I mean, Dean had every reason not to want to have anything to do with him for years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I imagine Dean was supposedly a pretty nice guy, you know. Everybody loved him from what I've read. Yeah, yeah I mean, he was just he was just a, a decent decent guy and he you know, he was just a fun, likable guy. He wasn't even the player that you think that he was. He used to, when they were in Vegas, he used to go to bed early. You know, uh, he was never out partying with the guys. He, he didn't. He didn't believe in it. You know, so and, uh, was, always had to have a hotel room on the first floor because he uh, feared a fire. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I read that. Yeah. Yeah. But he was, and I think he, he, in the end, to me, turned out to be the real talent of the two. I mean, he was a great singer. He was good at doing comedy, you know. Good, good straight man. I mean, he had, a, he had a pretty good career going for him. In the beginning, Lewis had the career, and then he just hung in there and hung in there. And um, he did a movie. Uh, uh, Martin's first movie was just horrible. It was called, like, 1,000 bedrooms or something like that. And it was just horrible. So then for the second or third movie, he did this drama with Marlon Brando. And all of a sudden, everybody took him seriously. So he kind of engineered his career correctly. And he became a very funny guy. He did some very funny comedies. And, you know, he, uh, he did that TV show for like seven years. Yeah. Seven, eight years. The Dean years. Martin Roast. Then the Dean Martin roasts, and, you know, I mean, he just, he was all over the place and still managed to have a real career. He was able to, we, what happened is if you had a TV show, you didn't have a movie career. Because the movies felt if they could see every week, why do they want to go to a movie theater to see you? And yet, he had a great career in movies while he was doing the TV show. Mm -hmm. You know how he, also how he did those TV shows? He didn't rehearse. That's, I heard like he was like that, <laughs> just so laid back and casual. And he said, "They said, do you work too hard? Do you want to do a weekly show?" He says, "Only if I don't have to rehearse." So they would take him under any condition. So they would they would rehearse sketches and everything with other people standing in for him in the rehearsals, and then he would come in and just read the whole show off cue cards. Mm-hmm. And the show was a massive hit. So go figure. You know? But anyway. Again, uh, another celebrity that died on Christmas Day. Really? Dean Martin. 
Being hey, large. listen. Uh, this uh, this uh, this little discussion here's got to die soon here because we're running <laughs> like like a... we're running out of time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he's fun. He's lively. He's full of joie de vivre. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bubbles Brown. Thank you, Larry. Thanks. You give me the will to live one more day, Alex. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, Blurry Bubbles Brown. I, you know, there's a there's a little crackling sound if you heard it in his uh, in his stuff, and I can't figure out what's causing it. Uh, I haven't uh, sussed it out with him, but it sounds to me here here's something. You ever you ever get crackling in your uh, phone? Uh, not on your cell phone, but on your, you know, your landline phone, okay? Um, and you get a crackling sound, like like you heard with Larry, okay? So uh, you heard that with Larry. And it, the reason you get the crackling is because there's water in the lines. Yeah. And, and especially in at his place... Where he's in San Francisco, which is damp all the time, water can get into the lines. And it also sounds like the phone company doesn't take very good care of those lines because he can't get um, a high-speed Internet service. <laughs> you ready for that one? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, th that's the reason why there's that crackling. I'm going to have to talk to him about that. Gee, I just, I wish, I wish he would just... Mm -hmm. I just wish you would get to a, you know, an iPhone or something like that. I've got, I've got iPhones. I'm gonna, I could give him here, and he just, uh, he doesn't go for it. So, yeah, I mean, he goes for it, but uh, he, I tell him, okay, go out, find out how you're gonna get service, okay, and then I will send you a phone, and you will have somebody turn it on for you with the, uh, you know, if you go to like AT and T or somebody like that, and they'll turn it on. Okay, I'll look into it. Well, did you look into it? Well, I haven't had time. It's like he doesn't want to do it. Um, and I would love everybody to see what he looks like. I would love to see what he looks like these days. I haven't seen him. All I do is hear him. You know, it's great to hear him. He's terrific. I enjoy my discussions with him. He makes me feel really good, you know. And so on. I got to do a little something here, if you don't mind, folks, uh, because I'm I, uh, I today I had another one of those. You know, every day is another day of uh, of 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 trying to make things work, okay? And sometimes they work, and sometimes they don't work, okay? And uh, in this case, I had a real real problem today. I have a a little thing here, a switcher. Uh, it's a kind of a uh, it's a switcher thing uh, that uh, I push a button and it you know brings up various things like if I want uh, this uh, they see there and I push a button for that and I push a button for that and if I want the opening I push a button for that and uh, if I want my camera I push a button for that and here I am you see and so uh, I had to like do everything to um, um, make things up. See, now I got to get that to go up, 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 up. There we go. There we go. That's nice. Okay. All right. Uh, so I had to reset everything here on the computer. For some reason, my computer went down uh, or froze up. So I, you know, I rebooted it and it came back up. And then when I tried to use the program that uh, that uh, sets up uh, these things like that, uh, it was completely blank and said, start filling in the, the, the chiclets here with the stuff. And it was really screwed. And I had to reprogram 15 buttons on this thing for all the various things that we do here, okay? Uh, and um, boy, that was, that was some work. And it took most of the afternoon. I didn't get my walk. I didn't get anything. And uh, it, was, it was ridiculous. So anyway, you know, more technical problems that I have to deal with. Okay, that's my whole day is uh, 
checking out uh, that sort of thing. Nothing else much happening, um, you know. Uh, I think I'm selling my Sirius XM stock. What happens is I have a one of these, uh, I had a 401k there. I didn't put any money into it. For the first couple of years, they put in about $1,000 a year or something, I don't know, a certain amount of money. So the, finally, when they fired me, I had about $15,000 in there. So, you know, and it was serious stock, and I just let it sit there, and it kind of grew to around 18000 now. And every year, I have to sell off a certain amount of it because uh, that's the, 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 what you got to do, what you're forced to do by the government. So I, uh, I, I get this thing from them saying, well, you know, you, you maybe you want to invest in other stuff rather than Sirius XM. And then I have my business manager look at it, and they say, well, you can't do it because uh, you can't do it because of your 401K or whatever. So then he calls them up and says, well, what if we roll it over? Uh, I, 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 I don't know what this stuff means, but I assume it means roll it over into a new account. So why don't we roll it over into an IRA instead of a 401k? And they said, well, you can do that. He said, and then once we do that, can we sell it and buy other stuff? And they went, yes, okay. So that's what we're doing. And we're gonna sell all my serious stock because it just, it just, it doesn't do anything. It just kind of sits there, it goes up five cents and it goes down five cents and then it, you know, once in a while you'll see this big jump of 20 cents, you go, oh, great, and then the next day it goes down 40 cents. It stayed around the $6 range for, or the six, yeah, I say dollars, it's points. The six point range for, God, the last year and a half, two years, you know, it went down badly during the COVID thing, then it came back. But it didn't come back a lot. You would think that something like Sirius XM would come back a lot because it would be uh, much better that way. Uh, because, you know, people are staying home and they need uh, entertainment and so on. But uh, it, it just hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't improved at all. So, you know, what the hell. And they've got like 30 million subscribers or something like that. And, Somehow they've done nothing to do anything with the 30 million subscribers, you know, and moving it into other areas. Yeah, they bought some online companies. They bought uh, Pandora, okay. Uh, they were bought one other one that I'm also on. Uh, and, uh, you know, great. They bought those, but they don't know what to do with them. They're not very good at it. And uh, it, it's just the company hasn't gone anywhere. So I, I figure it's not going to go anywhere anymore anyway. And all I got in there is about $18,000. So let's have some fun with that money and see if I can make it make me more money than, than Sirius is making me. So, eventually, so finally I will be rid of my uh, financial uh, relationship with, uh, 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 with Sirius XM. Anyway. Mm. Mm. Well, I guess I better stop talking because all these people definitely want to get on here. So let me admit them all. And uh, I push my new button. Okay. And there they are. Okay. Everything's working okay. Good. It's terrific. You know, I keep waiting for everything to go wrong uh, simply because I did something. And let's see here. We're waiting for Charlie Wallace. See you there? Yes, sir. You know what? He's 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 there, yeah. but I don't have any. We don't have any picture on you, Charlie. I see him. You see him? No. Oh, no, oh! Sure I see do. Charlie. Who don't we see? We don't see Trucker Steve. That's who we no. don't see. Okay. Okay, Steve, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you. We don't have a picture on you. That's all. There. So, who knows? Do you, have you clicked your camera there? Uh, yeah. Hmm. What the fuck's going on here? Hmm. No, the, wait a minute. Claim well. you're in the middle of a snowstorm or a blackout or something. I don't know. Oh, oh, I see Charlie. Who don't we see? Oh, now, he, now he's trying his audio. No, that doesn't work. Hello, Josh. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. We're trying to get Trucker Steve on here. Oh, well. 
Are you at home, Trucker Steve? Is that what the difference is? Yeah, I am at home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somehow your camera just isn't uh, isn't working for. Uh... I'm gonna come back. I'll just leave and come back. Okay, give it a try. Okay, mm -hmm. bye. I learned from logging window. Yeah. Your buddy uh, Larry Bubbles Brown. Yes. Interesting guy. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Comcast is the cable internet provider. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on a second. J Jeff, do you have audio going there? Zoom no. Shutting it down. Jeff does. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, what were you going to say? Uh, oh, so in San Francisco, the whole Bay Area is Comcast, high speed internet TV. Larry Bubbles Brown. Mm -hmm. And get high speed no matter where he's at. So, well, you're, you're absolutely wrong. Really? Okay. Yeah, you're absolutely wrong because he doesn't have Comcast. Who does he have? He just has uh, he has over the air. Uh, I don't think he has cable. Oh well, that then I'm right and he's wrong. He should get Comcast if he wants high speed internet. Well, but that's not the point. The point is oh. he doesn't want Comcast. Uh, okay, I was listening to your show, listening to what you said. And, no, we uh, were talking about the phone. And oh, also, he, can, he can't internet. get high. He can't, and then he also can't get high-speed internet there right. through the phone service, not oh, through Comcast. Um, okay. Uh, well, I have AT and T in the Bay Area. It works just fine. High-speed, five G. You're talking, you, it, Alan. You're talking about Larry Bubbles Brown. I don't know him. So. Well, this is a guy who still has a flip phone. Okay. Oh, oops. Oops. Oh well. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Never mind. Yeah. So he still has a flip phone. And I keep telling him, I'll give you one of my old phones. I got a couple of old ones sitting over here, right? You know? And I say, I'll give you a couple of my old flip phones, one of my old flip my one of my old iPhones, and you can have it for free and, you know, uh get going on it and so on. And is there a problem tonight with YouTube? No, I guess it is not. Um, uh, the um, uh, what I was going to say is, and I told him, I'll just see, send you one of my phones, and you can turn it on and, and do the whole deal. There is sure. a problem tonight with uh, with uh, with. Uh, are you guys getting YouTube at all? Yeah, yeah. It was earlier. Yeah, it worked earlier. I was on it mm. a half hour ago. So. Well, I'm not. Get, right now. I'm not getting it here. So. I don't know. You know. Uh, let me see here. What? What here? Well, there it's okay. There it's all right. Huh? I'm I'm having uh, I'm having some problems here. Let me try this again. Let me try this. Uh, uh, okay. There we go. I got it on now. So huh. last night on Jack's show, technology is great, isn't it? I've I've been on it the past two nights mm -hmm. on Skype. Mm -hmm. Skype is another learning experience to try and get on and use it. Mm -hmm. Last night he, he ended the show at whatever time it was, 10 yeah. o'clock here. Mm -hmm. Charlie and him froze up for a minute and then they left. And then one of your favorite people, um, Ann, uh, Amy. Um, Amy. Who? Amy. 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 And I stayed on for 45 minutes talking. That's oh, great technology. Wait, wait a minute. What, ha wait, what happened? He went down? No, no, no. Out, uh, 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 uh. Oh, he hung up and the show was over. Yeah, the show yeah. was over. And Charlie and him were frozen in a picture. Yeah. And they went away after a minute. And so Amy and I, I'd never met her before. We were still there and we talked for about a half hour, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then when we hung up, that was over. So that's modern technology for why, you. I love why, it. Why would you do that? Well, she was new. I never met her before, and she was nice. I know you and her have some history. <laughs> so I just, I, the point wasn't Amy. The point was that I like Skype. You know, it doesn't hang up. I, well, I don't know. Skype, we used to have things where I would hang up or something, and everybody would just stay on and talk to each other. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. yeah. It was like there was a plot against me or something. Well, my, yeah. you know, it's made by Microsoft. My favorite oxymoron, Microsoft Works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, uh, Trucker Steve, I think, is still having problems getting a picture there. 
<clears throat> Wonder why. Oh, I'm uh, uh, hey, why don't we send you out to where he is, Jeff, and fix his situation for him? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I have to load it up twice at least. Sometimes really? three times to get it to work. Really? Yeah, but that's... Pam has said that about you. Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> but she likes it. Uh-huh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so, I mean, it, you know, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Skype is fine, you know? I mean, I, what I liked about Sk Skype is I could do very nice graphics <laughs> with Skype because I could assign everybody to a different to pick, to screen and everything. This is just better, though. This is more faultless. You know, I can't tell you how many, If I got up to 10 people at one time, forget it. That was it. You know, it all froze up. Everybody slowed up. You remember those days, right, yeah. Charlie? We've never had any trouble with Zoom. Nope. Nothing, you know? So it, it's been just great, you know? Can't complain about it. I, I love Zoom. The Zoom is like lightning years past Skype. Well, so, as far as I'm concerned, you know, Skype uh, had the market. Okay, they were very good, and they had the market. The only problem is, they fucked up. You know, they they what happened was Zoom had been around, I think, for five years before people started using it. And then COVID came along, and everybody needed a way to be able to talk to each other in groups. And Zoom just was very easy for the ultimate moron to use. Mm. You know, I mean, even uh, uh, Bubbles. Well, no. It's, forget it's, that. No, no, <laughs> forget that. that but most people don't have a problem with that, you know? So, I mean, you guys don't have a problem. Jeff, very few problems with Jeff. Jeff has more of a problem turning off the audio from, the, from Sky, from the uh, feed and things like that, you know. And you were having something where it was telling you you were doing something wrong or something, and uh, it was a you know a message of that kind of that sort. So you know, wait wait till you get to his age, Alex. You might lose track too. Yeah, yeah. Boy, it's hot in here tonight. Yeah, I've got yeah, the air. Yeah, yeah, and it's going to be hotter. Is it going to be hotter? Mm -hmm. Let me turn on the air. Let me lower the air conditioning. It's going to be like 90 on Sunday or something. Nice. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't take my walk today. Go to the beach. I didn't take... What, what beach? What, how am I going to get to the beach? What? I'm going to go to Coney Island? <laughs> go to the beach, my ass. <gasps> they have no beaches on the East Coast? Of course they, they have do. beaches. Oh, but, okay. But I have to... You know, I don't have a car. Uh, you know, the only beach I can get to by subway is Coney Island. If you think I'm going there to hang out at a beach, you're out of your mind. You know, you go out in the water, you're dodging needles. Yeah. So. Go up to Jeff's. Jeff probably has a beach by I him. Think I, I, I gotta go pick you up one day. Yeah, pick me up one day and take me to the beach. Okay. Okay, that's what you'll do. Uh, do you drive anymore, Jeff? A little bit. Yeah. I'm. A, I just. I'm afraid of driving because I. I haven't driven in. Uh, in about three years, and then I was talking to my business manager today, and he said a few. Uh, a few weeks ago, he was driving. This was the first of the year, and he hit a guy on a bicycle. Then there were no. There was no injury, but that was enough to make him say, "Okay, that's it. I'm through driving." You know. Okay. And and I, I I think I'm I kind of feel like I don't know if I'd be a hundred percent if I were driving. So you know, I'm trying. The strange part is I can't remember where I used to go. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know what's funny? It's been a year. Where do I turn there? I can't remember. Is that it, it's been a year and a quarter at least yeah. since I was on a subway here in New York, and I was trying to figure out the other day. How to take the F train to get somewhere. And I couldn't remember how to do it. I think you take the D down to uh, 50th Street. Or, or, excuse me, yeah, 50th 30 Street. 32nd? Uh, huh? 32nd? Uh, no, no, you keep going. You keep going. And. Um, to get the F? 
you take the no, you take the D down to um, fifty uh, fifty seventh fifty seventh, okay. Fifty seventh, yes, yeah, I think so. 50. Anyway, you take it down to there, yeah. and uh, see, I'm even forgetting what the stations were now. I know, you know, and so I, I, I mean, I, wouldn't that be fun if I had to ask people directions? Yeah. As a New Yorker who's used the sub, I mean, I, and I, I've learned how to navigate, navigate the subways. I learned from Shecky. Shecky was the guy who taught me all about the subways and how wonderful they were. But I have to go down, I go down to 50th Street, take the D to 50th Street, then hop across the thing onto the F, which then goes down and, and stops at uh, third, uh, 23rd Street where I get off and go get my uh, pasta, you know, at Italy. Well, I, understand. I understand the subways in New York no longer have bathrooms. So if you're going to ride the subway for a distance, you better know where the bathrooms are. Where have you been? Huh? Where have you been? <laughs> I, I, I've been to New York. They no, haven't last... had bathrooms in how many years, Oh, well, Jeff? I don't know. Maybe the last 30 they close them on BART because people go in and shoot up in there so they don't let you in. But, so, but the it, subway yeah. is a lot bigger in New York than it is here in the well, Bay Area. Well, we had people shooting up way before your people were ever shooting uh, up, and that's why our go. bathrooms are closed. I, I've been on the, the rail system there in New York. There's no bathroom left, I think, in the I guess the subway. I didn't have to go. If I did, I would have just pissed on the tracks or something. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. I don't know what like you do if, you, else. if you've got a bad prostate and you suddenly feel like you got to pee. Yeah, you know, must be horrible. Yeah. Um, but uh, hello, Josh. How's everything going with you? Going pretty good. How's the wife's uh, recovery doing? Yeah, she's doing fine. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah. Just going and, through her process for. Mm -hmm. And Kevin, we haven't talked to you this week. How are you doing? Okay, not too bad. Yeah. My and, wife's recovering from surgery as well. Oh, oh yes, you, she had surgery. How how'd that go? Good. <clears throat> trying to keep her down was like trying to tie snot with a rope. But yeah, I, I mean she 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 figures she's ready to just get yeah get up her. And do. Then she got this little knee scooter day before yesterday. Oh, the knee scooter. Yeah. I I, I the guy who we're suing. Uh, when we had our hearing, our uh, depositions, he had broke his knee, and he had the knee scooter too. Yeah, it's like giving her a freaking motorcycle. Now I got to get her a helmet and the knee pads. And <laughs> flies down the freaking street now. Oh, so okay, I'll see you down there. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a, a one leg? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You put the knee on the pad, and then. They just scoot right off. Yeah. Can't you, get a, can't you get a little sidecar on your Harley there, Kevin? Yeah. No sidecar. No sidecar. <laughs> well, here here comes Trucker Steve again, and it doesn't look like he can get a picture going. Uh -huh. And I, I don't know why he can't, because you can get your picture going before you actually sign on. Maybe yeah. Rocky's in the way of the camera. Huh? It's showing that the camera's on, but it's not even... When I log on, it won't even show my... Well, if you if if, if 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 do you go to your have you gone to your settings? Whoops! Everybody can see the settings now. Here, I got to move it out of the way here. I don't want to see that. Have you got your settings up? Yeah, Alex, well, you're not the only one with technical problems on this show. Yeah, trucker Steve. Uh huh. Have you got your have you got your settings for Zoom up? Uh, I'm looking at them right now. Y yeah. We'll go to video. He's in the bathroom. Leave him alone. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Hey, remember that one guy used to call up? He's in the bathtub. That was great, but he didn't, never turned off his camera. He yeah. used to leave his camera yeah. on. No. By the way, really? where's where's Brian tonight? Is is Friday now his night off to be with the kids and stuff? Yeah. I think so. Good Friday He's, night is movie night. I think so. Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you there, Trucker Steve? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Can you yeah, I can, hear can you. you get to the the settings panel? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm trying to figure it out. Have you got the settings panel? Yeah. 
you can see it says settings and then it says video and audio and so on. Uh huh. Click on audio, video. I'm already on it. Okay, what does it say for the camera? Uh, it just says PC camera. That's it. Okay, that's a drop down menu. Just click on it and see if there are any other things. No, it's just one. That's it. PC camera? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's. Then, then, in the immortal words of, of, of my father, you're fucked. Uh, Did your camera come unplugged? No, it's probably no, built it's in. No, it's a laptop. It's right in the screen. Yeah. Built oh, okay. into the computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, because that should, uh, that should do it for you. Yeah. yeah. How about trying to reboot if it's a Microsoft I'm sure he. I'm sure he rebooted. You rebooted, right, Trucker Steve? I already did twice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. Maybe the camera died. Yeah. Do cameras die? I mean, they're nothing much anymore. You yeah, know? but anything can say. That's right. Anyway, we've only you got... Went down to the bottom left there, and your, your video is on. Mm -hmm. what, oh, oh where, where do you go next to see if your video... In the bottom left corner of your screen, it says vid stop video or turn video on. Yeah. Uh, are you are you there still, Trucker Steve? Uh huh. See down at the bottom over uh -huh. where it says mute, and then right next to it, it says stop uh -huh. video. Yeah, it says stop video. Yeah, then he's on, so he's got something on his camera. Maybe you got mm -hmm. a piece of tape on your camera or something. There you are. Oh no, there. That's your that's your audio. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Oh well. I have no idea what's wrong. <laughs> well, you can hear him, so that's fine. Do you have any suggestions, yeah. Jeff? You're pretty good at this. <laughs> well, I had the same problem one time, and I went to Apple, and they completely rebuilt the whole thing for nothing. Wow. So I had something bad. I don't know why I <laughs> oh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me see here. Let's see if we can talk. Now we're down to 30 viewers. Boy, we're to lose, losing them tonight. <laughs> Come on, Alan. You always have a... Well, you know what the problem is? Way to say Purple something. conversation. I think yeah. Trump should be president in 2024. Okay, listen. You idiot, you moron. I think you're full of crap. What do you yeah, think about okay, that? Why? 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 Because, I think he was a great president. Because what did he do that uh, made him great? He wasn't great. It was great. Look Best at the economy of all time. Time. Oh, we're up to 31 people now. <laughs> Let's just keep the arguing going, you piece of shit. <laughs> I, don't know why we, I don't know why we have to wait to put him back in when he won the election. Yeah, yeah you're I mean, absolutely I don't know right. Why we just don't send like the military or something? To, I have an idea for the rest of the show. Send why don't the we? Military. Why don't we run this as a right-wing friendly talk show? You know, I agree. And all you guys can, you know. I agree. Like I hate all these people. Tell you the truth. I mean, really, I'm 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 very serious when I say this. I am sick and tired of all these people that say what happened on January 6th was an insurrection, when those were nothing but tourists who wanted to see the Capitol. Uh, I don't right. see Every day we, we heard There's 100 cameras. They all had cameras, didn't they? They had cameras. Yeah, they had cameras. They were taking photos. Yeah, yeah. They were walking through the hallways. I don't see what the problem was. Yeah, and, uh, you know. No, we always beat people over the head with poles. That's yeah. right. I mean, look. Yeah. And look, I mean, when the British came to America in 1814, mm -hmm. they were just visiting. <laughs> yeah. And they went to dinner at the White House. Mm -hmm. And what Dolly served was not very good. And the service. They were cupcakes, cool. weren't they? And it, it got a little <laughs> out of hand, and a fire got started. And it just snowballed from there. The same as a barbecue. I mean, they left the next day. Yeah. And didn't tear anything else up. Did they leave a note or anything? Like, sorry, we burned down your home? No. You know what? I don't they know. They do. There was TV but, coverage. I mean, you know, it just got out of hand. It just got out of hand, yeah. Uh, this yeah. is good. Yeah. I don't understand what the problem is. Uh, now, I mean, 
all they wanted was America back because it was stolen from them to begin with. Mm -hmm. Right. It's Plus, like they had, history. They had every wrong. right to want it back. They owned it first. You know. Mm -hmm. They had another job for the day. They yeah. had to kill the yeah. vice president. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, just like part-time job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, look, if Washington had been wearing a mask at Yorktown, the British never would have surrendered. I learned that today from a very smart congressman. <laughs> I had never thought of that. I mean, it totally, like, undid all the work that I've done all these years. I just fucking, I never, I was like, oh my God, I... You didn't know that. I, I never thought of that. I yeah, mean, yeah. You're stupid, what if he think? had been wearing, like, a neck gaiter and was like, put your hands up and come out or we'll... Fucking fire some cannons. Well, I'm also they all. They would have been like, "Fuck you, you net gator wearing fucking piece of shit." Yeah. Fire your yeah. cannons. Out. No. Yeah. Well, I, uh, uh, you know, uh, you're you're right about this, and uh, also the latest thing is is that all those uh, there are a whole bunch of really patriotic Democratic, uh, rather Republican congressmen, who are refusing to wear masks in Congress. And they've uh, all been cited by Pelosi and given a hundred dollar fine or something like that. Uh, but my feeling is, <clears throat> hey, if they don't want to wear the mask, they don't. What's the what's wrong with that? Because you know, at least fifty percent now of the Congress are vaccinated. There were fifty percent who aren't, but you know, what the hell? And, and yeah, but the other half already had it, so. <laughs> I, I wonder if the, what the that's one hundred percent. Yeah, you got a fifty-fifty chance. What's the problem? I wonder if Matt Gates wore a mask while he was playing with ten-year-olds. <laughs> ten-year-olds don't wear masks. Can we? Oh, keep, there you go. How long can we keep this up? We're up to thirty-three people now. <laughs> Going wild. Oh, well, you're increasing the room. I mean, yeah. Yeah, numbers are going up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I sent Phil a text to come on on the show. It's all about him now. Yeah, Phil <laughs> should come on the show tonight. I think he. I and, think he passed out. And, and he could play the only left winger That's among right. us. That's right. You know, you know what? What happened was once I a while, years ago I I went on the air, and decided for an evening that I was going to be a right winger, and I tried it and I lasted about five minutes before I just couldn't keep it up. I mean, it was that horrible. I couldn't bring myself to say what had to be, you know, to, 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 to come up with the, uh, with the, with the, the kind of thing a left, a right winger would say. And I, I also felt horrible about even saying these things. Yeah. So, you know, that was terrible too. Yeah, if I, if I, if I can't get an erection, I usually turn Fox News on Perks me right up. Yeah. Oh, here comes Trucker Steve again. Oh no, he just left again. Okay. So, yeah. you know, when they when they get done with this recount thing in Arizona and they find the ballots that were in like the bamboo or whatever. Yeah. This, this Once right. they find the bamboo ballots, I mean, they'll all be back on our side. Right. Yeah. Except Pence. I mean, we're not taking him back because he's a fucking traitor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the traitor. He's got to be shot. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking like a SEAL Team 6, Osama Bin Laden type thing. Yeah. It's, the way uh, he ran like that day like a little wussy, ran out the back door, he should have hung right in there. He shouldn't have. He, they'll, he, make, he, they'll make Cruz vice president and get him out of Texas. <laughs> oh, please, please. <laughs> please. What, what's, a, what's, a, well, what's this latest thing in Texas now? Where if you don't, if you if people have to wear masks in order to come into your store, you're going to get fined a thousand dollars or something. Yeah, they they they're making it a law that nobody can require masks in your your private business thing. This this is the this is the party that's all for freedom and all for 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 business. <laughs> yeah. I'll try, I'll try. But now you can't run your business the way you want to. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I'm. I'm Unfortunately, thinking about it. this can go really bad. 
This could be the next thing businesses will do. We'll stop allowing white people into their businesses in Texas. And, 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 oh, and to make things even more fun for the, for the Republicans, and I love this kind of thing, the person who is going in the primary against um, uh, Liz Cheney uh, just admitted today, oh, there we go. There's Trucker Steve, ladies. What happened, Trucker Steve? You don't know, right? I shut the computer down and let it sit for like five seconds and restarted. Oh, okay. That's called uh, reboot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, it, it, yeah, but, but it's also rebooting and letting it settle for a little bit. Because there, sometimes there's residual stuff in there. Anyway, the guy that Liz Cheney is being primaried by uh, came out today and announced that, uh, because I guess he, he didn't want it to come out as a story, he said that when he was 18, he got a 14-year-old girl pregnant. Who's that? This, wow. The guy who's primarying, I don't know what his name is, uh, primarying Liz Cheney. Uh, How old is he now? Got my vote. Uh, right. He's got your vote. <laughs> Wait a minute, what state is Liz Cheney from? Huh? Wyoming. What state Wyoming. is Wyoming. 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 Well, it, it, you know, maybe it'd be like the South. Maybe 14 was the legal age then. Let's see here. Uh, uh, no, I'm looking. Well, you know, uh, let me see here. Uh, 14, uh, uh, and, uh, I guess I can't find it now. It's not here. When he was 14 or when she was 14? Uh, let me see here. Oh, he was 18. No, I, I don't have it here. But I had it here earlier. Uh, so. we, uh, those are childhood problems. Who cares, right? Yeah, the statute of limitations is up for ch statutory rape anyway. Yeah. yeah especially yeah. in well, Wyoming. Plus, it's about time we stop canceling people for shit they did when they were And I don't think, what is wrong with statuary rape? That's another good point. You know, I mean. And I mean, how old is she now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. My, my point exactly. I rest my case. Yeah. But statuary rape is, I don't think, uh, a, a problem with me. I mean, Sherman's horse doesn't mind getting goose, does he? There's a lot of happy sheep around you, Alex. What was that song? Frolicking through the park is such a lark, goosing statues in the park. If Sherman's horse can take it, why can't you? Do you remember that song? Is that the end of the uh, the program theme song now? Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh, thirty-six people. We the, we may have found a new format. Yeah. Like. Well, I'm I, mean, about. I mean, can you can you, uh, uh, Charlie? You didn't seem to be participating very well in this. No, no, I'm sorry. It's hard to do, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I mean, I, 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 when, I, when I tried it once on the air, uh, uh, I, it, it, it was a real problem for me to keep it up. Because I felt guilty about saying the very stuff I was saying, even though I was kidding. You know, uh, and I think the idea was I wanted to do it to say, have people say, what, what got into Alex? What 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 happened overnight that he said? Somebody flipped a switch in Alex. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. anyway. Oh well. But you know. Uh, but anyway, so Liz Cheney's being primaried by a uh, a, a guy who got a fourteen year old pregnant when he was eighteen. So yeah, minor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but he'll kiss Trump's ass. So. Yeah, and I wonder. I wonder if there was an abortion in that situation. From Trump or from the girl. <laughs> you know, I mean, these guys uh, don't believe in anything for anybody unless it affects them personally, and then they want it for themselves. You know, so. Plus, Whatever. he might have got a receipt and wrote that cost off on his taxes. He could be. <laughs> could be. Point. Good yeah. point. Yeah. Yep. And, and by the way, his excuse was he asked permission. And, and so that uh, that seems that seems to kind of really blunt the me tours because he asked permission. Ask a fourteen year old. <laughs> yeah. Did anybody watch? So, uh, in other words, may I sexually harass you in exchange for a promotion? Yeah. yeah. And you're in the clear, right? Yeah. yeah. Would you like that better job? Well, listen, I think I know a way we can do it. If you wouldn't mind getting fucked by me. 
and we agree to it. We agree to it. So, and I, I'm not forcing you to. Right? You ever sign a document that says she's not forced, and you guys agree to it? Yeah, well, I bet you. I bet you those things, those kind of documents, are going to be uh, running around. You know, like, well, before I can sleep with you, you got to sign this. It's already there. It's the Gates paper. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about Gates. You know, sometimes people in businesses get together and they kind of find each other attractive. I know you don't know that kind of situation, Alan, but it does happen. Yeah. Uh, and um, they, they want to have some kind of sexual relationship, but now they're afraid to because it could come back to bite them in the ass. Don't we have papers that have been created to solve this problem? You know, uh, so uh, you know. I uh, uh, also, I mean, it's just everything is so legal and everything. I mean, people get married; and they sign nuptial, prenuptial, nuptial agreements. Boy, isn't that romantic? Mm. Yeah. You oh, know, yeah. that's really romantic. So, I don't know. I don't know. You got to get your attorney hmm? to, to sign it for you. Yeah. If they're see. under thirteen, a priest will will handle it. Oh yeah, yeah, and he'll but take I'm a commission not, too. I don't have a, a priest. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, what are we up to? Well, thirty we went down to thirty-four. I guess we better juice this thing up a little bit. Yeah, really. I hear Donald Trump's moving into uh, Hollister, California. Really? No. Oh. That, maybe oh. Kevin would have a heart attack or something. That wouldn't be good. Aren't you in Hollister, Kevin? No. Oh. I wonder when he's going to be kicked out of Mar-a-Lago. Because he's... Kevin or... or uh... well, but he's staying at Mar-a-Lago under false pretenses because supposedly years ago he signed a deal with the state of Florida that he could not live there as an, as a, uh, um, as an abode, as a home. <laughs> and But he is. Doesn't uh, he own Mar-a-Lago? Yeah. He owns Mar-a-Lago, but he had to make a deal with the state of Florida oh. in order to buy it. And, oh. the, and one of the things was is that he would not use it as a residence. For more, than, for, think, more, well, for more than 30 it was days. The, I think it was the county down there. Yeah. Okay. And I think what it is is that it's a resort, <clears throat> and it's not zoned as a resident. residential. Oh. So no one, including Donald Trump, can basically stay there permanently including him and then and they got a waiver been... during his presidency for a couple of things like a helipad and all that yeah all of which he's supposed to have out by like the end of this year or something oh. or and who would have ever thought that he clause... was going to be president yeah well, but the residency clause is in there and i mean i, I guess you know apparently he's in violation of it or whatever but i mean yeah he signed it but i mean now, do you think the governor has the ability to uh, make adjustments on those things? No, I mean, it's it's a contract between him and the county government down there. So I don't know what authority a governor would have to in a zoning. It's, it's basically like a zoning issue, if I understand it correctly. I mean, it's it's not zoned for residential, okay. you know, uh, use or whatever and if you're living there you know 365 days a year that's a residence that's not a does the governor have his own little uh, abode there or something like that the no. ron DeSantis. uh well ron DeSantis, he says he wants ron DeSantis to be his uh, vice presidential candidate in uh, 2000 when is it 26 24. No. 24. 24. Man, he'd be, uh, Good luck yeah. if he's wearing an orange jumpsuit. What? Good luck if he's wearing an orange jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> How many here think he's going to wind up going to jail? Uh, I think so. Do you think so? It's going to take some time. they got to do it right. Yeah. This guy is like... Time is on, you know, uh, time is on his side. He can prolong this and keep prolonging it, and pretty soon he's dead and it's over with. I think that's what's going to happen. He's going I to think so, too. 
I don't think he'll be president he'll again before it happens, and he won't be touchable again. Well, the no. question is, does he have the lawyers to do it with? Of course. What he's going to call Julie? He's going to call Giuliani? Hell yeah, he'll save the day. Here comes an old friend. Hello, Patrick. Wow. Hello, Patrick. There yeah. he is. He's on our. Pat's on our side. Yeah, well, Pat's on our side. We're we're all playing uh, left right wingers tonight. <laughs> what do you mean? No, we can't. Is that what you're saying? We can't. Hey, whatever. You know, I mean, you know, whatever you guys want to do. Yeah, well, we were just saying. You know, how one. What was it? Uh, how wonderful it was that the people in Congress, those uh, congressmen refuse to wear masks. We thought that was really great. You know, especially since 50% of them haven't been vaccinated. That's really showing your guts. Well, hopefully the 50% of the 50% will get COVID and died and you thin out the, uh, you know, the weed. The, the congressional way. herd, yeah. 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 No problem. That's basically what I was gonna, I don't, I don't own, I know we've discussed it privately, Alex. Yeah. I don't know why anybody who's vaccinated gives two shit <laughs> why somebody who isn't isn't vaccinated. It doesn't oh, matter. no, I, I, you know something? I was talking with Marjorie, and I said, I was talking with Patrick, okay? And I said, he asked me, I, he said, well, I'm not going to wear a mask. I've gotten all my shots. I'm not going to wear a mask anymore. And I said, I tried to argue with him that you were doing it for other people. And they said, but how are you, he said, how, how are you doing it for other people? If you're vaccinated, you don't have it, right? And I said, I went through all these arguments and I finally came out when I told her, I said, quite frankly, I don't see why uh, if you're vaccinated, you should wear a mask. That's it, period. You just have not been vaccinated yet. What? Kids have not been vaccinated yet. They just recently let people 16 years old or whatever, under 16 year old get vaccinated. Well, yeah, but, 16, but yeah. to begin with, they say they, they say the kids under 16. Well, who do we yeah, lose? But kids under 12 haven't been vaccinated yet. They're not approved yet. That's right. No, but, so but, that's but, why but, you but kids, they, so they fine. They, I'm fine, but he's going to kill my grandkids. Okay. No, but they were saying, I that, care. Well, wait a minute, hold on a second. But they were saying the kids uh are uh are, are a little more it's a little more difficult for them to get it okay they're a little more resistant not to it strains. not not the strain that's going around the country right now that's it's killing younger people in groves I mean, well, is it killing babies well, is it killing that. is it killing kids no. who are like four years old? i don't know i don't know because i i you haven't know, heard anything the, like that. the why to wear a mask is what Charlie brought up, and the other thing is, the vaccine's 95% effective, which means statistically you have a one in 20 chance of getting COVID. Yep. Yes, but if you do get COVID, it will be a very mild case. That's questionable at this point. What do you mean it's questionable? It's no, it's it's a very mild case. They say the people who get it, in spite of the fact that they've had the uh, uh, the uh, what do you call the vaccine, uh, are uh, are are. Uh, just fine you know they they get a little bit of the covid and they're sick for a couple of days and if uh, they none of them have to be hospitalized they say nobody's been vaccinated has been hospitalized Some nobody people have died from it who've been vaccinated no i haven't people heard that died from where, the vaccine. Where, where'd you get that statistic well, why did johnson and johnson stop uh, in this country, stop giving out vaccines, Alex. Because yeah, six because people, six people. Only 15. one who died. And only you one of them died. Uh, you think eventually we'll see, like, over-the-counter medication for COVID? Yes. Like, even... Well, I don't know, in shelf, Canada, maybe. Like, buying mm -hmm. Tylenol? Well, I think what they will come up yeah. with, and they say they're coming up with, is a uh, is a oral version of it. So... so Pfizer's working on an antiviral like a cyclovir or something like that that will be a therapeutic versus a vaccine yeah. for people that can't get vaccinated for whatever or the vaccine doesn't work if you're immune compromised yeah. like you have AIDS or you're going through chemotherapy yeah. or something like that. Yeah. But I mean, I you know, I mean, I have to agree with you Patrick to to a large extent that, you know, what am I doing? I'm not, I don't have to protect myself. 
and I don't right. really have to protect other people because chances are I'm not even going to get a version of it. And if I do, I'll know it because I'll, I'll have a cold or I'll have a fever, and then I should wear a mask and I should stay home. Right, but you would do that anyway. I mean, when I've been sick in the past, I didn't go to work <laughs> because I didn't want to spread it to everybody else. But, you know, it, that's just common sense. Let me, uh, as far yeah. as the mask wearing... Okay, you want me to show it? I, I had to go to the doctor today. Yeah. So what did I do? Put on a mask. Right. I put it on at the door, mm -hmm. and then as soon as I got out the door... Took it off. It was off. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, I'm not not ever wearing a mask at this point, but okay. I'm not going to wear it outside ever again. That I'm done with. And I'm done wearing it in any stores mm -hmm. ever again, yeah. because now there's enough stores open that say it's optional. Well, guess what? I'm choosing not to. So, you know, I mean, and if it goes back to at some point, in order to get into the store where I need something, I need a mask, mm -hmm. and I wear a mask. I mean, I'm not that moronic, but right. I'll be damned if I'm going to be sitting there with a fucking mask on outside, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, or driving my fucking car. I mean, who's going to get sick? My wheelchair? The, I'll tell you, the only thing, the only reason I can see to wear a mask, okay, we've had, we've all been wearing masks, right? All winter long, we've been wearing masks. How many of you have gotten colds? Well, I rarely ever get sick. So. Yeah, but how many of you have gotten colds this oh, year? Oh, you got to be around other people to get sick from a cold. Well, that's for, <clears throat> for starters, yeah. but also wearing the mask prevented you from getting it from passerbys. Yeah. I mean, there was an advantage to wearing a mask, and they do this in China, and when I was in China, you mm -hmm. see people walking yeah. down the street wearing masks because they've got a cold and they don't want to spread it to somebody else. We I have never gotten into mask wearing in this country for that. I mean, would you, if you had a cold, Patrick, if you had a cold and you were going out, would you wear a mask to prevent someone else from catching the cold? No. Well, I, I mean, that, that's a weird question because in the past, I never wore a mask for a cold. If I had the flu, yes. that was something, but a cold is typically just... It's a, it's a lesser bug or whatever you want to call it. And I'll be honest with you. You know, you, you're saying you got to be around people. When I was with my ex and she had three kids, mm -hmm. I rarely got sick. And I, I will, and I've told Alex this, and I may have mentioned this on here. I think it has to do with me being in the wheelchair and wheeling on all sorts of shit, literally shit outside in the men's room. <laughs> where I must have some sort of immunity because I, I'm touching everything. And <laughs> I can wash my hand. Well, no, I can wipe my hands down with an antibacterial shit at the kitchen table while I'm eating supper and the doorbell ring and I touch my wheel while everything that I just got on <laughs> my hand. So I don't do it. I mean... I, I, there must be some immunity I have where I just don't get Well, it could be you've come up with some kind of an immunity that way, yeah. But all I'm saying is is that when I, when I, when I went to China, for instance, uh, and there wasn't a flu going around or anything else, but I saw people wearing masks, and they were wearing masks for a number of reasons, not the least of which was if you have a cold, you wear a mask outdoors. You wear masks yeah. around other people. I, I think they wear masks in China a lot because... The air is so horrible. No, no, that's no. part of the reason. But what I'm saying is, is that they they tend to wear it, uh, wear them a lot. And I think we're going to do that here in this country because we're now used to masks, and we're going to see them that they do have an advantage. I mean, there was. I feel naked without it. You're going out now. Are you wearing a mask outdoors, uh, Charlie? No, I'm not. I'm not either. I'm walking. I'm, 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 I'm still keeping that six feet distance from people. That I'm doing. Yeah. You know, uh, mm -hmm. Especially in this neighborhood where we've got a lot of, uh, shall we say, uh, street people uh, who uh, don't look too well. You know? So you blend in right with them, right? Yes, right. I, I bond with them. Okay. 
but no, I, I mean it. It. it uh, I. I. You know, there. There. There is a. There is a, a. A case to be made that Patrick is making, uh, about this. Hello, Brian Ludwig. How are you? I'm all right. You can't hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. You can hear you just fine. Yeah. Hear every word you say. Excellent. Yeah. How's everything in your part of the world? Uh, things are finally winding down regarding the school year. Yeah. Uh, our governor doesn't seem to understand the basic concept of governing by the will of the people. Since a majority of us said in the emergency declaration and do it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. You're where? What state again? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. And and what 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 the uh, you want the governor to do? I want him to do what we voted via the amendment ballots mm -hmm. to do. Which was to in the uh, to in the uh, emergency declaration and allow the well it will eventually happen because the uh, Harrisburg legislature, which is Republican dominated, but I'm looking at the long term goal here mm -hmm. versus the short term. If yeah. it's a Republican governor who does shit like this, or if it's uh, a right winger versus yeah. a left wing legislation. Mm -hmm. uh, to uh, determine after 21 days if an emergency declaration in the future is valid or not. If it is, it goes for another 21 days, and then it subsequently goes through a, a, re a review process. And, and th this is in reference to what? To, to, to stuff like masks and staying in, and, and schools being closed and Correct. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are your schools open yet? Mine has been. Uh, I work for a more conservative school district, and by that I mean one that remains a public school, but it, it is one that uh, caters to a largely uh, suburban, upper middle class uh, community. Now, are kids wearing masks in your bus? They are, on your as bus? are the drivers, as are the teachers. Okay, so you're, 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 you're following protocols, right? I am. Yeah, and in the school itself, are the kids distanced from each other do they have plastic between them or something or uh, i really can't say for sure i haven't really talked to any of the teachers i just do my job i do as i'm told and then i get the hell out of there i would imagine they are i, I, went, I went into a restaurant a couple of weeks ago favorite restaurant of ours and they actually built all these partitions between tables plastic partitions you know it's and and I'm wondering now that the whole thing is over with and you can go back to 100 percent in your restaurant and so on, are they going to throw these partitions out? Or are they just going to keep them there so people will feel more comfortable? I would imagine it depends on the will of the the, the uh, customer base, but more importantly, how, the, how much money was spent. Yeah, I, I'm a little lost, Alex. Now that this whole thing is over with, it's where. Yeah. Not in this country. Not in every state, no. No, no. Uh, it, but it is, it is certainly, I think Fauci even said today that he feels we're well on our way to putting this thing behind us. Right, but he didn't say it was over with. No, it's not completely over. It won't be over until there isn't no. a single death from it. Okay. I'm just going by what you said. But uh, I don't know. What, did, what, what happened here in New York? At, uh, what's the current count and the amount um, well, they said 19 deaths in New York State yesterday, and this is, uh, yeah. so apparently it's gone up a little bit, but it's, you know. So the, 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 real, the real test will be next fall, late fall, when yeah. it's cold and flu season, mm -hmm. as to if, if there's no other mutations and if the vaccines there are is. really, really holding. Yeah, there already is mutation. There already are mutations. Yeah, Those we know that. Dogs. Yeah, yeah, but supposedly the uh, Pfizer, at least, and the Moderna, they think are are good against the uh, mutations. And the J and J because it was developed during the time of mutations. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, you know, I think we're I think we're going to see a, a complete downturn. What's the count in the amount today, Charlie? We didn't even ask you. you yeah, know. we had twenty eight thousand in new cases and uh, 688 deaths today so it's been way down 688 in the whole country in the whole country yeah yeah so uh i wonder what state is the worst now 
Uh, there were a couple of states that were actually on an uptick, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm thinking correct. I have to imagine either Texas, Florida, or whatever other. Well, te- how's it going in Texas? Well, Texas, uh, we had 42 deaths today and, and 1,400 new cases. So it's, it's way down here, too. Yeah, but and still, you had. What? And they're opening up to Texas. Oh, we completely opened up, yeah. Yeah. Except that a lot of people are still wearing masks and a lot of people are doing the social distancing. Yeah. Wow. But Brian, did you get your shots? Yes, I did. Good. No, he probably couldn't have driven the bus if he didn't. You know. Well, I could have, but I, uh, I, how much longer would I have been able to a year from now or so? How's it going at, uh, your paint plant company thing? Uh, uh, Josh? Yeah, we had a, like two cases maybe last week. Um, really? But it slowed down, you know. A lot of people have had them. But we How had bad them. was it at its height? Where did you have a pretty good uh, problem there? I mean, um, did, you, did you have deaths at your, at your plant? No, we didn't have anything like that, but a lot of people missed time, you know. I mean, at one time, you know... Uh, it would just kind of move through in spots and everything, you know, like at one time for about three weeks, I didn't have anyone on my daytime crew. Yeah. Um, they were all out and my shipping side, they were all out. So basically I had to move some of my nights people to days and then just everyone just worked yeah. like 20 days in a row until everyone got back. Just, you know, what do you think? Is, uh, what, what, Gosh, did did you get uh, injected yet? No. He hasn't, no, he hasn't gotten the, uh, the vaccine yet. Is there any reason why you haven't, just not convenient to you? Yeah, I guess, like we talked about the other night, I don't you know. You could probably go to your local drugstore and go don't get care, it. don't care, I guess. You could go to your local drugstore and get it. Maybe, I don't know. You may have had it and just had a non-symptomatic case. Yeah, probably. I think I'm going to follow Charlie's lead and uh, see about getting a, a shingles vaccine. I had shingles, like, interesting enough, but when oh. I took the CEL exam back in March of, um, February of 2010, I was 25 oh. years old and I got it. Well, I, I had a friend, I had a friend who was a lawyer who hung out a shingle. Is there anything like that? Then I'm dumb. <laughs> it ain't fun. I, yeah. read your, I say this because I read your post a while back, Charlie. Yeah. 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 I, had, I had it. I had shingles. You don't have to be over 50 to get it either. Nope. No. I, I got it. Uh, I think I oh, was yeah, over 50. The baddest chicken pox. Yep. Yeah. But well, I, Alex, that's one of the reasons I got it is because you, you were telling me about how close it was to your eye and everything. Yeah. I almost went. I, a couple more days, my doctor said I would have gone blind. Uh, mine was more textbook case. Uh, it just a, a ring around my uh, left arm. Oh, it really? Sucked. It's, it sucked. It sucked. I, I know it's it's not pleasant, and I I knew there was something not right with me, but I went to this doctor up in Mendocino, who after he, you know, gave me the prescription for the pills to clear it up, then took me up to his apartment and got me loaded on pot. Uh, but uh, he works uh, and works. It, it it was it was you know it was terrible, and uh, uh, I got it. Uh, I I I th- I never had. I never thought I had chicken pox, but apparently I did when I was a kid and didn't know it. You know, just got a very light, those, light case. One of those rare cases where you had like a pock or two and it wasn't very well, noticeable. Well, I, I had this girlfriend who came down with it at 23, and she said, boy, you're going to get it too, because, you, know, you know, we were playing huggy face all the time, so it wasn't like we, I couldn't get it. I didn't come down with it. She kept saying, you're going to get it too. I didn't come down with it. And I couldn't figure yeah. out why. And uh, then I got uh, shingles. And you got to have had chicken pox in order to get shingles. And I put two and two together and said, I probably had it when I was a kid. And it was just a light case or my parents didn't analyze it as, shing- as uh, chicken pox. And I got over it and everything was fine. You know? And then years later, I don't get the chicken pox when she gets it. And I get shingles later on. So that, you know, it's there not you go. Contagious. Huh? 
it's, it's not a, contagious. What? Chi- smallpox isn't contagious? Oh, smallpox, chickenpox. Is chicken chicken pox, chicken pox, pox rather. How do you get? Chicken. Well, then, how do you get chickenpox? You must get it from somebody. Right. Oh, yeah. well, chickenpox is contagious, but uh, yeah, uh, shingles, shingles. Oh, it's not shingles, contagious. No, shingles is related to chickenpox somehow. Gets right. into your nerves. Right. And, and then, then chicken Oh, sorry. Chicken box is definitely contagious. I yes. wonder. I wonder how the numbers are right now that we're talking about shingles. Uh, All the lawyers are uh, listening. Huh? Well, so, no. It, it numbers went down. We were up around forty, and now it's down to thirty-eight. Oh. They don't like chicken pox. Not a good topic. <laughs> shingles. I started as a sharp pain in my left shoulder blade. I thought I pulled a muscle or pinched a nerve. I applied pain oh, yeah. on it, and the day after, I saw yeah. a red mark, and I told my uh, mother about it as a registered nurse, and she said, "Yeah, you probably have shingles." Yeah. Wow. And lo and behold, it spread and it got worse, and that's exactly. And what then it was. you just took some pills to get it to go away, right? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. That's uh, what I, I took. Yeah. A cyclovir. Uh, you're, that's exactly what I took. Yeah. See, that's why you put the doctor in front of my name. No, that's why you put the doctor in front of your name. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, well you know. Okay. Hmm? I know a little bit about pharmacology. Well, that's that's good, but I just don't want I you sold giving, drugs. I just don't want you giving out medical advice here. Why not? Well, because uh, people might listen to him. Oh, well, they don't and, he, and, and, and there might be a chance he's wrong, and then they'll drop dead listening to his advice. Just do a legal disclaimer. I am not a doctor. I am not a practitioner. Not a professional in medicine. I'm just is just not advice. I guess it's better than listening to you, Alex. One minute you say that something's that, that it's gone, the virus is gone, and then when it's pointed out to you why it's not. I oh, didn't say agree. it was gone. I <clears throat> said it was greatly diminished and was going away. No, you said we're over it. Your words. Did I say we were over it? Charlie, did I say we were over it? I didn't it? hear you say that. See? <laughs> See? Did I Uh-oh, say that? Now I'm in trouble. Did I say that, I Jeff? Have Jeff, did you hear me say that? I, I think Alan has to be off for three days. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Saturday, Kevin, did Sunday. I say that? Did I say that? Mm-hmm. Kevin? Um, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay. Fifth. Oh, okay. Fifth. Uh, Josh, you, did I... Patrick, did I say it? Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. I... Nobody's agreeing with you. Apparently, everybody was so bored with this program, they weren't listening to anything that was said. So, you know. We'll have to play it back. What the yeah. hell? Yeah. Let you know on Monday, Tuesday. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go play it back, too. Oh, well, let me start the theme here. Well, that's our uh, theme song, our closing theme song, as opposed to the opening theme song. And uh, I want to uh, thank you all for being here, folks. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Alan, for being here. Thank you, Charlie Wallace, for being here. Jeff, always great to have you here. Kevin, nice to see you. Trucker Steve, glad, well, glad you got... Welcome livening up the conversation. Glad you got everything working. Thank you, Patrick. Glad to have you here. Always glad to have you here, as well as Josh Wheeler. And, uh, hey, you know, we, we actually had the other Brian here tonight, Brian Ludwig. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Hey, listen, uh, 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 I guess we uh, everybody should go out and have a nice weekend. And it's uh, in your area, hopefully it will be sunny and you can go around without a mask on and take a nice walk out without huffing and Civil puffing. war, civil war. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 and I thank each and every one of you. Kevin, you thank did. you, Charlie. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, uh, yeah, everybody. Anyway, we'll see you all, uh, what, next week, hopefully. Thanks for joining us tonight. Give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a wave goodbye back at you, okay? There we go. There goes our citizen panel, folks. Uh, There's a new one that's going to be getting together right after we're through here with Jack Bishop. He does it using Skype. Ah, yes, using Skype. So uh, you just uh, type in Gabnet Live on Skype, and there you are. And you'll be talking with Jack Bishop. I'll see you again uh, on uh, Monday at 4 o'clock when we do the little pop-up show. And then 
back here, right here, right here, in this very place right here on uh, Tuesday night, 10.30. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice weekend. And, oh, by the way, get the vaccinated. And if you have been, great. If you haven't been, wear a mask and stay safe out there. Good night, everybody.